Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World live stream. Maybe the last live stream where we fight the extreme behemoth. And today I'm going to be helping Farns. Welcome, my Farns. We're going to be taking on the extreme behemoth and hopefully defeating him one fight at a time. So last night, if you were watching, I committed defense boost 7. It was pretty horrible. Uh, but one of the fun things that I noticed, actually, was just how strong Fortitude was. It's like I always knew Fortitude was really strong. And yet, uh, you know, using it again is like, damn, that skill's so strong. It's like you actually underestimate how strong it is. It gives you not just defense, but also attack. Dang, that skill's good. I hope it's not changing for Iceborne. Also, I noticed protection, really not bad. Just in general, like not even just for tick damage monsters. If you're going to take damage because you suck like I do, uh, protection actually really does a great job. It, it, I can't, uh, you know, I keep thinking of it as like this, oh, well, maybe you take this as your last resort, you know, if you just have a little bit of space left over, but man, it's probably right behind health boost and fire resist right now for my favorite skills. You got health boost, fire resist, protection, and probably evade window. Those are the big ones. I think those are the best defensive skills. I should make a video on that, but I don't want to because Iceborne's coming out and I want to make the video after Iceborne comes out. So we can talk about the changes. All right, so we're fighting Extreme Behemoth. We're going to be helping players with low HR ranks. We're going to go a little extra longer with this stream. And that's because, uh, you know, with Iceborne coming out, I don't really know what's going to happen. It might be hard to find people who want to play Extreme Behemoth after Iceborne comes out. Everyone's going to be playing the new content. All the skills are going to change. So we know there's kind of a nerf coming to Weakness Exploit and definitely to Max Might. He actually might get harder in some ways. So there's that. I, on the other hand, there's that Vigor Wasp revive, so that's nice. Uh, he might get easier and harder, who knows. Uh, but yeah, this is your last time to play it in its natural state, and then everything changes. So we'll get through this maybe three hours. What time is it? 1.46? Yeah, looks like I can have a three-hour stream, and then my wife comes home, and she's going to be like, hang out with me. You don't hang out with me. So we're probably going to be playing for about three hours. The question is, um, when, do the, when does the um, next day start? Does it start at 7 p.m. Central Time, like it has before for me. Because if it does, that means we won't have time for a PC stream. I kind of wanted to do PC as well. You know, Extreme Behemoth, he's the toughest fight, and I figure we'll do him since he's the toughest, and this will be like our last huzzah before Iceborne pops out, right? We got like the betas coming up, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. We got a lot going on. I'm so busy, and I'm busy opening up Pokemon cards too, which I shouldn't be. I should just be playing this game. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see who's in the session. We've given everyone a few minutes. We got Hugo, Virgil, and Michael. Oh, and Mason. Mason's level 77. So we got a lot of nice low rank players. The goal is to get this guy in one run. I can fill any role. I can already guess I'm probably going to be fulfilling a tank role because that seems to be the role most people struggle with. Let's go ahead and post the event. There is room to join if you want to join. Who do we got here? We got Chris Scythe. He says, hello. How's it going, man? Ren says, I'm far and boing right now. <laughs> Chris Scythe says, I finally got help from Discord to defeat Extreme Behemoth. Great team. Awesome, dude. I'm glad to hear that. You, the, the Discord will break uh, 20,000 people today. It will break 20,000 people. Uh, let's see. Can the Vigor Wasp revive you from Ecliptic Meteor? Oh, that's a great question. I presume not. I presume not, or else it wouldn't be a true one-shot, would it? Dre de Fleece says, what's up, dude? How's it going, Dre de Fleece? So let's see who we got. We got Hugo at level 87. Virgil at level 87 also. And Nilion. Is this, did I say that right? Nilion at level 211. Let's see what's going on. Damage. 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 And what the problem we're going to run into, guys, is we got to have a healer. we got to have a healer or a tank. So I do reserve the right to boot your booties out of here. Because we got to have okay team composition. You know, we could waste a lot of time losing this whole stream. But what I want to do is win the whole stream. Does that sound right? I want to win. Let's see. I probably have a tank build set up. Probably. Probably. When I was, when I was younger, I had a whole bunch of siblings. I had 11 brothers and sisters. And... uh the youngest one would could never talk correctly. They'd always screw their words up. It was funny. When you have kids like that in your family, you kind of learn to speak their language. 
What do we got going on here? Let's grab this one. Awakening charm. We could probably give the awakening charm up. Yeah, we're giving that up. We're going to trade that out with... Every day I get a little bit better at this game. So we're going to take guard three. We're going to go into the resistances. We're actually going to take guard four. I find that guard four, it sounds like overkill. I've been told it's overkill, but take a look at it. At level four, the stamina depletion drops to about, uh, increases by 30%. Stamina depletion reduction increases to 30%. That's a mouthful. So what do we got here? Mighty, release jewel. Where's Spreadshot? Is this a build with no Spreadshot? Typical game economist build. <laughs> Guard up, non-elemental boost. I probably made it when I was half asleep. Health boost, crit boost, fire resistance. Let's take a look at that fire resist. 17. So what I'm actually going to do for the fire resist, I'm going to drop it entirely in favor of protection. I know it's crazy, right? What is this? I'm going all crazy on defense. I actually like defense. Believe it or not, you want to get you want to get your crit boost. You want to get your weakness exploit. You know, spread shot of course, max might is good. But if you can fit extra defense in the build, it just makes everything easier. Really, it does. Um, we'll eat for fire resistance, and that'll protect us from the meteors. And then let's see if anyone changed their build. We gotta have one healer. Here we go. Empress roar sticks wide range. This means Hugo and Virgil are our damage dealers. True gay bulg. You're going to struggle, okay? So you're going to struggle because you only have Weakness Exploit 1 and you got Crit Boost 1. That's the biggest struggle here. Hugo with Terrath Sword Fire. This is looking much better. Weakness Exploit, Max Might, Crit Boost 2. So that's going to be fine. All right. Good luck, everyone. I think we'll take this team. Let's go ahead and sort out our items as well. Hmm. I should have some better item loadouts, shouldn't, shouldn't I? We'll take this behemoth. Eventually we'll paralyze him, probably in the last stage. Whoa! TR Anthony! <laughs> TR Anthony, uh, this is. I wasn't sure if you would be in the stream today. You are the top contributor for the month of August. If you would like to pick out uh, like a Pokemon you'd like to see popping up when people make a donation, I'd like to add a Pokemon gift to the alert boxes for you. You're the top donator, man. Your donations are so consistent. Surprising, see? People wouldn't know that. People wouldn't know that uh, because there's no way to see like cumulatively how much you've given. But you're a generous. You're a generous guy, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, contact me in private if you would like and tell me what your favorite Pokemon is. We'll get a Pokemon for you in the alert boxes. And then when people make a donation, it'll be your Pokemon. It'll be your favorite Pokemon. So let's go ahead and pick up the Demon Ammo. We want the Demon Ammo so that our teammates do even more damage. Thank you so much. Let's see, what else? Anything else from here? I think that's going to be it. Um, let's go ahead and grab. I'm not going to rush it this time, guys. We shouldn't rush it. Cool drink, right? These are nice. Everything else is nice. We should have the jump. We do have the jump. We're gonna get rid of the rest. Uh, get rid of the whetstone. And I will read the comment section in a minute. But first, we gotta get this ready. So manage items. This is such an important loadout because you use glutton against them all the time. I'm gonna rename it. Behemoth. We'll, we'll call it Behemoth Spread, in case we're using it for a different, different bow gun. Behemoth Spread. Okay. All right, and and uh, let's go eat. We gotta go eat. Fayad says, "Invite me to the Ubu Squad. I am Hugo." Oh, definitely. So Hugo updated all of his shoutouts to have Uwu and Owo in it, so he gets a squad invite. Leaders only. Hey, it did that to me last time. Let's jump up to the Gathering Hub. I don't know why it's doing that to me. How do we get... Oh, I can't do it yet. Okay, I'll invite you when we get back. I'll invite you when we get back. I think I have to go up to the Gathering Hub to invite you. Uh, let's see. Mark Davidson, Game Economist. If you ever have the time, check out Giganox. I feel like you would love him. He has everything you would love about Keizu in him. <laughs> uh, 
I don't have crit boost jewel. That's understandable. It's, it's hard to obtain all the right jewels. It is. We're going to go ahead and take veggie platter. It's going to protect us from fire blight, which is nice. Uh, and it's going to help us reduce the damage from meteors if we get hit by a meteor at a bad time. Beware the Firecaster. That's right, Nils Bowden. How's it going, Anthony Tran? I don't know if you were listening, Anthony, but uh, I said to contact me in private. I'm going to let you pick a Pokemon out. We're going to add a, a donation Pokemon for you uh, so that when people make donations, your favorite Pokemon pops up on screen. Frankie Cutlass says, Who is everyone going to cry about now that Zenogre has been revealed? Keizu. Where's Keizu? No, I'm just kidding. Gormagala. They need Gormagala. He's awesome. Are the crossover events going away? Uh, yes, all the events are going away because the festivals are ending very soon. Oh, we should check out our mantles as well. We should try to aim for one fight, one win, if possible, guys. So we can help as many people... As okay, it is impact mantle. So we can help as many people as possible. Alright, looks like we got everyone ready. Let's go ahead and get started. Good luck, team. Hugo, Virgil, and Nillian. If we fail this, we'll do another run together, okay? We'll do two runs. And then we gotta move on to the next team. Got him right in the head. What was that? Why did that fall? That was weird. Well, we lost one of our boulders. We have six? Virgil's like, over here! <laughs> if I did nothing but play tank this whole time, I'd probably be doing my team a favor because tank is such an important role, and when done well, everything is just so much easier. We got his attention for that, for sure. Alright, guys. Nice and easy. Let's pull him over here. Come on over, Behemoth. Behemoth. Somebody drop the boulder now. Alright, I'll drop the boulder. He's gonna bring in that next meteor. Oof. So just keep an eye on me, Nillion. If you keep me healed, we'll be okay. So Hugo and Virgil, I'm going to give you guys some great tips. You guys should always be attacking his arm or his tail, okay? His arm, his tail, or his head, technically. Alright, so if you guys are trying to do better damage, which my biggest fear is we won't do enough damage. If you guys are trying to do better damage, you got to hit him in the arms, the head, or the tail. When the tail breaks, go for... Oh, what was that? <laughs> I guess I was at too steep of an angle. It didn't guard for me. You guys will get bad damage on his back legs. That's the problem. So if Hugo and Virgil, if you attack his back legs, you won't get any good damage. Nillian can attack the back legs and get good damage. In fact, Nillian will get better damage on the back legs, but not you guys. You guys will get poo-poo damage on the back legs. I'm a little worried about damage right now. Team's taking a lot of damage is what I'm noticing. How did I get hit by that? <laughs> God dang shield on the heavy bow guns. Good flinch.
All right, we're gonna lose that comet. We got one comet left. Luckily, that comet didn't take any damage. All right, we're doing real bad on damage here. Oh, you know what? Part of it is also probably that we missed that second boulder, I'm sure. Maybe our damage isn't that bad. Alright, let's get over there. Ooh, better get over here. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and load up the special ammo here. Speaking of which, I should probably have had my Mega Demon Drug. Don't forget, Nillian, you can give out the My Seed to everyone. Alright, we'll just bring this over here. Oh, snap. I tried to look over at the comment section and immediately get hit by a meteor. Careful there, Virgil. How to get a nice shot off on him. I see the dragon pods. <gasps> what? Also, I don't see dragon pods. I must have been mistaken. And he has a Charybdis on me. That's like a complete reversal. No, wait. That's definitely them. Got it. We don't have any hammer players on the team, so we don't have to have them on the hill. I think what I'll do is I will definitely save my Temporal Mantle for stage, um, three. And this is why I like Guard 4 right here. That was a lot of, uh, uh, stamina depletion. Look at this, look at this. That's a ton of stamina depletion. Nice job, guys. So Guard 4 coming in handy. Of course, the healer could give me dash juice as well. That would help a little bit, but you can't rely on your healer to do that. It's really up to you to have a good guarding build. There's our comet. We get one comet, so we can't break that. Nice job on that flinch. Flinching means that the team's doing damage. That's what flinches mean. So we like to see flinches. Just remember, uh, Virgil and Hugo, you're not going to do any any good damage to his t his legs. you got to do it to his forearms. If you're not attacking his forearms, you're doing poo-poo damage. Getting kind of further away from that comet. What's he gonna do? All right, there we go. He's gonna fire for Rubus soon. Nice, that's a flinch. He's exhausted. Keep an eye on the comic guys. I'm gonna start leading him back this way. So after he runs off to the next stage, let's all meet up at camp and get super buffed before we jump down there, okay? I'm gonna give you guys the demon ammo for the next stage. How's it going, Alpha Sierra Hotel? You guys gonna make it? Oh, <laughs> very close. Well, we're gonna grab some fresh ammo. And then when we jump down there, we want to make sure that we're giving our teammates demon ammo because stage three is a DPS check. I think we can pass it. If we if we play like we did just there, we'll pass it. We'll be fine. Beam at the spread. There it goes. Are you going to do weapon tier list for Iceborne? Yes. I'm going to be doing counter builds. I'm going to be doing recommended weapons, all the good stuff. Alright. 
Oh, that's a slow reload for that move. Alright, we got the demon ammo. Let's get going. He's going to start regenning health anyways if we don't hurry. Oh my god, what have I just done? <laughs> Such terrible shots with my wyvern snipe. Wait, that's a paralysis ammo. We don't want that. Saul Cruz! Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, Saul Cruz. So, Saul, um... Saul was purchasing some cards from me, actually. It was really cool. And uh, he said, I'll, I'll purchase the cards in a donation, live. Thank you so much, man. If you wanted to know Saul, I'll probably just use that to buy more Pokemon cards. Because <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> I gotta fuel the addiction. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much. In the middle of stage three, the behemoth? What are you thinking, Saul? <laughs> Saul's trying to wipe us out. <laughs> you can't wipe me out. I'm the cart economist. No, wait. <laughs> I think we're going to grab his aggro. Does it, does it help to grab his aggro? We should have grabbed his aggro when we had temporal mantle, actually. That's what we should have done. Saw, saw Cruz. Wait, did I st Oh, oh, oh. I gotta stop shooting. I think you need to update your tier list for all the weapons since elemental damage is getting a boost. I completely agree. Hey everyone, cringy. Happy hunting. <laughs> I say happy, you say hunting. <laughs> Nice job. Good timing on that. Let's go ahead and take this mantle off. Oh, and immediately get hit by him, even though we're running. Whoa, I don't like that move. Saul Cruz says, that's the mean I'm an enabler. <laughs> Does that mean I'm an enabler? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell my wife um, that booster box of first edition uh, rocket cards, that booster box actually cost more than her engagement ring. She doesn't know that. <laughs> Hopefully she's not watching this. Don't tell her. It's so expensive, man. But, you know, the reason I did it, the reason I bought them as well is because I was thinking about it. I was kind of doing a calculation in my head. I'm like, there's all these Pokemon card channels, and they all want to open up vintage cards. And I'm thinking, buy the booster box now, and in 10 years, this booster box is going to be worth, like, twice as much. So it's an investment. I figure, with the booster box, at least, I would just wait a long time with them. And if they really didn't go up in value, I probably will open it. But if it did go up in value, maybe I will sell it and go on a trip to Japan or something. Do something special with the money. Nice job cutting the tail, by the way, guys. I think we're going to pass... I, I definitely think we're going to pass stage three. She does not know that was an expensive box. I got it for cheap, too. You know what I did to get it for cheap? Um, Not only did I track down the cheapest available box... I also contacted the seller in private and told him, hey, sell it to me off of eBay and we'll cut, we'll, we'll split the uh, eBay fee savings. So when you sell an item on eBay, you actually, you know, you have to pay an eBay fee and that fee can be hundreds of dollars when you buy like a multi-thousand dollar product. Oh God. Nice job. Good job on the healer, by the way. Healer's doing good. So I told him, you know what, sell it to me privately and you'll save about 400 bucks when you sell it to me privately, and we'll split the difference. You save 200, I save 200. And uh, that's the story of how I bought my first edition booster box. Dude, he's gotta be close. Oh, he still got me. 
Well, that's okay. Look at that. Damage taken reduced. We're actually almost full health. Quick, quick. Ain't gonna appreciate that. <laughs> Alright. Good job, everyone. Let's see where he dropped those dragon pods. He probably dropped the dragon pods somewhere. We're looking for the dragon. Here it is. Dragon pod, dragon pod. What's up, bro? Long time to see you again. How's it going, Victor Antonio? Man, we got a lot of Antonios in here. Let's go ahead and have our might seed. And can we... Oh, we can't fire our demon ammo, actually. Because we just... We just loaded up the special ammo. So he's going to put down a Charybdis. I'm going to carry it over here. All right, he's going to jump, too. That's his next move, is to jump. Oh, he didn't jump. Yeah, he jumped. Got him. Now is the time to use this impact mantle. Or at least it feels like it. We lost Nillion! Nillion's the healer. Be extra careful now, everyone. Pay attention to where that's landing. Alright, so my job is to not take any damage because we have no healer. Just be careful not to direct him toward the uh, behemoth, or the uh, comet at all, because he might actually. Nice job, Million. Million got back fast, man. We don't want him to use that move right there. We don't want him to act. Oh, we lost Virgil. Oh, no, Virgil. Nillian goes, I cry every time. <laughs> All right, we're at a stopping point. We are at a stopping point. Let's go ahead and replay, because I missed it. Um, Saul Cruz donated $206. I'm going to replay that. He didn't do it twice. I'm replaying it, okay? Thank you so much, Saul Cruz. And he bought a huge bulk lot of cards for me. It really saved me a lot of time there by buying those. And we gave him a special gift too. We gave him the Hunter gift. Because that's his favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. So thank you for that. And then we will get another run in with the same team. Hopefully we win this time. It's, sometimes you need a practice round. You know what I mean? Daryl says, is there going to be any events left by Friday? Uh, no. Victor says, can you use Light Bogun support build versus Behemoth? We can, but right now we're playing the tank. It's a very important role, and we will try that out next. Goat Smuggler says, collecting Pokemon for the sole purpose of making a profit is a terrible investment. It's actually not true, Goat Smuggler. I did a bunch of analysis before I uh, purchased some cards. So back in the day, the booster boxes would have cost about $100 each. And now the booster boxes sell between $4,000 and $7,000 each. Somewhere in that range. So that's uh, very, very... That's, that actually kind of outperforms the market. Basically, if you had purchased a whole bunch of booster boxes before you know everyone knew how valuable they would become... Your investment, like, it, it increased by, like, 40 times or something like that. Some big number. I was doing a bunch of research on it before I purchased any of the booster boxes, right? I was like, wow, these booster boxes went up in value. And the next thing I did was I asked myself, will they continue to go up in value? It's kind of a difficult question to ask because every time Nintendo, or not Nintendo, Game Freak or whoever owns Pokemon, every time they introduce a new set of cards, if you think about it, they're kind of like creating an inflation where there's more cards to collect, so maybe the overall all of them are less valuable. But then I was thinking too at the same time, especially with the booster boxes, every time somebody opens a booster box, there's fewer of them in the world. So it's kind of like this experience you can have, but it's becoming rarer and rarer. 
Uh, and the cards, the old cards especially, tend to hold their value pretty well based on the research I was doing at the time. And with all these Pokemon card channels, my realization was that the old vintage booster boxes will continue to be open because these guys need new content. So I'm real familiar with having to... Uh, oh, let's go ahead. Did I post it? So hold on. We want the same team. Let's get these guys out. Sorry, Marquez. Sorry, the other guy. I said like three times we're going to have the same team. Um... So yeah, I realized these channels, they're always going to need new content, and they're always going to want to open those vintage cards, and the vintage cards are going to become, the, the unopened vintage cards are going to continue to get rarer and rarer, uh, the booster boxes especially, and that's why I made the investment in the end. Actually, it's funny, after I purchased it, I looked online, because there's only like three or four of them on the internet, and the price like doubled on it right after I bought it, so I was like, well, there you go. So if I, were to, if I were to sell it now, I think I could make a few thousand dollars off of this booster box I purchased based on how much I bought it for and based on how much they're selling right now. Like if you look in completed items, they're selling for about twice as much as I bought it for. It's really wild. Uh, but I don't want to invest that much, you know. I, I got bills to pay. <laughs> I had a little bit of investment money. It was going to go into Capcom stock and I ended up putting it in Pokemon cards. That's what ended up happening. So, Frankie says, Devil Joe Hammer and Diablo's Hammer are easy to get and pretty damn good. I actually like the Devil Joe Hammer more than the Diablo's Hammer over time, just because you have more flexible builds. And by the way, let's take a look. Let's see if they're making any changes to their builds. I don't think so. Alright. Uh, it's too bad Nillian died on that last stage, because we might have made it? It's not all his fault. He wasn't the only one who died, obviously. Mark Davidson says, so you're doing it for fun and stonks. Yes, it's such an expensive hobby. You really shouldn't get, you shouldn't spend the kind of money I spent on it unless you're kind of keeping an eye on whether what you're buying is going to hold value. So that's really important to me when I bought the booster boxes in particular. Uh, James Dice says, did you ever fight against Digian Zenogre? No, I did not. Uh, I stopped playing GU in order to get back more into Monster Hunter World. Do, do, do. Thanks, Spectrum guy. Oh, we'll be there by Friday, they say. It's early so we can be there, they say. <laughs> oh, no. Spectrum. Don't get me started. Actually, last night I was on at 3 a.m. in the morning. I was on the internet, and the internet cut out. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here goes. It did it again. That's not from the explosions, is it? That might be from the explosions. Holy heck. I'm sorry, guys. That's something I didn't know. I think the explosions from the wyvern ammo is actually causing the boulder to fall. This is such a punishing fight. God dang, dude, look at how I finally get catch up to his face. He immediately turns around. Dude, I can't friggin' grab his aggro. Oh my god, this guy's the worst. Try to iframe through the Charybdis, I failed. I can't grab his aggro. He just keeps running around. Our teammates, you guys got to get in there. You got to get the damage on him, man. You guys are like skirting around. You guys got to get in there and do that good damage. Virgil and Hugo, you guys, your job is to hit him in the arms. If you guys aren't hitting him in the arms, you're missing out on damage. Quite a lot, actually. Oh my god, I can't get him in the... Freaking face, dude. He just keeps turning because we're so spread out. Well, it's not, ju it's not just that he's turning. He's, like, turning and moving all over the place. So you guys have to understand, once I grab his aggro, I can put him under the boulders. So we don't got to split up and stay under the boulders or anything. Bring him over here now. I 
I tried to roll. Oh, I, I couldn't roll there. I was still in my reload. Where are my teammates? Get that damage in, guys. Oops. He almost got me. Actually, this is a good spot to be in. I like this. Uh oh, that sucks. Dude, all I was trying to do is reload my weapon. He's so ridiculous. God, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. New member Lawrence. Woo. How's it going, Lawrence? Go ahead and craft more spread ammo. Lawrence, you gotta try out some of those special emojis, like the speedrun. Speedrun is my favorite. I should have that apathy dog, the bento and smokes dog. There we go. Not bad, guys. Good job. We're moving on to stage two. Nothing personal, kid. Teleports behind you. What? How are y'all turbid? <laughs> he didn't drop the... Okay, he didn't drop the pods. How much members need to unlock the new emojis? Oh, how many members do we need to unlock the new emojis? I need to look that up. I haven't looked it up in a while. We needed 14 new ones. 14 new members in order to unlock... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't remember. Actually, I think it was 11 new members, and it was going to unlock 14 new emojis. That's what was going to happen. There's the pods. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Oops. We hit Hugo. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. Oh, you guys just messed it up. Why'd you guys flash him? You only get two flashes. You should just let him land the Charybdis. Now I don't have his aggro. I think I end up grabbing his aggro anyways. Did Capcom allow you to stream the beta on PlayStation or not even that? I They said, uh, well... I'm pretty sure I can stream it. I'm pretty sure. Have you activated new special Xbox Ultimate Pass? What? Probably not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why did Capcom tell you not to stream on PlayStation? Um, as an agreement not to reveal any details about Iceborne. I know he'll make money. The numbers can just be deceptive if you only look at the return. You have to factor in time and changes of the market for Pokemon cards. Good old Pokemon. Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? I like Pokemon. I think it actually fits really nicely with having a uh, Monster Hunter channel. Because they're both about monsters, basically. Except one's more like... They're, they're different games, but they're, they're similar in some aspects. This is more like National Geographic. <laughs> Monster Hunter World is more like National Geographic. Pokemon's more like, I don't know, maybe a classic Nintendo Nintendo game. Where's the uh, comet, by the way? Do we have a comet? We do have the comet. Ouch. We're about to lose his aggro. There it goes. It's gone. Oh, no. That's like the worst direction he could be. Come over this way. Come over this way. We gotta get him away from that. 
It's okay. He's not doing any damage to the comet right now. Whoop. Virgil! Virgil, we need those lives. He's exhausted. Heavy machine gun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, the uh, the meteor is, or the comet is still accessible. Should aggro me. Oh, oh, oh no. He's not gonna make it. You guys gotta be near the comet. Oh, you are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Nil. Nil made it. Nice job. Nice job. We're fine. Let's go ahead and grab uh, some fresh ammo. I thought he was kind of far away, but he made it. Just me hoping that we get this. I wanna get a win for you guys. I do. Don't make me rage. I'll do it. What's your membership? What's new membership that's going to take over gold and pass this three times the price? Probably after next gen, there will be no other option than buy that. What? I did not understand anything. Behemoth gaining health. That's not good. Why is he gaining health? Oh, that hurts. All right, let's get out of here. That's a crazy place. We don't want to be in a crazy place. I thought maybe we could KO him before the move started. <laughs> I was wrong. It was worth it was worth worth a try. Oh, Virgil in trouble. Oh, you dodged it. How did that hit me? I wasn't shooting or anything. God, dude. The guard on a heavy bow gun is kind of weird sometimes. Wow. There you guys go. Get him. Get him, boys. Got him. Oops, guess I had one more shot. Is the tail cut? Tail's not cut. How's the tail not cut? We got we've got an insect glaive user on the team and a longsword user. You guys could cut that in stage one. Amazing. Oh, that hurts. Go ahead and reload this. Brrrr. <laughs> Kelvin, he says, I have keys but no locks. I have a space but no room. You can enter but can't go aside. What am I? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, piano. Oh. 
I'm just taking a wild guess because I don't want to lose. <laughs> you think I'm the brain power for this right now, Kelvin? I'm on suicide watch right now. I was using defense boost 7 last night. Hugo, no! How did that still stun me? <laughs> Hugo immediately getting beat up. Good flinch, good flinch. Uh oh, Virgil next? Oh man. You guys are getting nailed. <laughs> Keyboard. <laughs> This is going to be a close win if we get the win in stage 4. I can kind of feel it. You guys are going to have to pull a rabbit out of your hat. You guys got to be much better at dealing damage, but also not taking any damage. The two kind of go hand in hand, of course. Just waiting for that. Alright, we got him, guys. This will definitely send him off to the next stage. I see the dragon pods. That hurts. Hearts broken. Nice job. We got the tail cut before stage four. That's convenient. All right. So let me pick up these dragon pods. I'm going to need some fresh ammo as well. Listen to that epic music. Kelvin Smith says it's a keyboard. So was piano kind of correct? Piano's kind of like a keyboard. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way, Kelvin. Let's go ahead and update the snack fund. Snack fun, snack of fun. Thank you once again, Saul Cruz, for buying those Pokemon cards. Oops. <laughs> Do you guys think we'll defeat? Oops, I almost called you Smimped. <laughs> Do you think we'll defeat... The Extreme Behemoth? Cast your votes now, how we lose. <laughs> do I epically cart at the last second, or do I epically put the boulder down in the wrong location? You decide. Okay, we do have Temporal Mantle back. Seems rude that you guys just plan on wrecking Behemoth Snap. That's right, it is kind of rude. Oh, when you say keyboard, you're talking about a computer keyboard. I interpret it as like an electronic piano. I'm so dumb. Kelvin says, what flies when it's born? Lies when it's alive and runs when it's dead. A zombie. No, um. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, should I be answering these? I'm gonna get myself killed, man. <laughs> Who should I shoot? I'm shooting Nillion. There we go, we got both of them. Oh, he roared me. We have his aggro for sure. Flies when it's born, lies when it's alive, and runs when it's dead. A rumor? Hmm, that's a that's a tough one. I don't actually know that one. Oh, we gotta pull him away from this for sure. Do 
Got to make sure you point that move away from the comet, by the way, for all of you aspiring tanks. All right, let's run, guys. Don't get hit by that lava. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nillion! Oh, he made it. Nice job, Nillion. I had faith, Nillion. Dude, he is trying, isn't he? God, it's so easy to have space that spin attack. Problem, everyone. Easy mode. Oh, this will cause the. Okay, he's gonna drop the comet now. Let's pull him away from that comet. We'll go this way. Run! thinking he's gonna get me oh that's gonna yeah that's gonna hurt save me save me I'm just a young child all right we got to get this guy oh my god that's not good Hugo's Hugo's uh, stunned oh Hugo's dead oh no no Hugo <laughs> That was a flinch. We definitely grabbed his aggro. No, we didn't. Oh my god! I got one-shotted! Oh! Oh! He wasn't even aiming for me! <laughs> Oh, my eyes are already twitching. <laughs> Cast your bets how we're going to fail. Game economist carts. <laughs> oh, should we give him another try? I feel like maybe we should. I mean, there was only one life left. And they have had two runs. Oh, let's go a third time. Because if we get a win, it's going to be like three guys or at least two guys who need, need that win. Oh, my God. <laughs> All is broken inside me. <laughs> and that's why we have the uh, carded emoji. <laughs> oh my god, what a terrible way to die to. I was playing fairly well, I thought. And then just one punch, dude. He's just like, screw you. You lose. <laughs> Um, we'll give them a third chance. We're, we're having a three hour stream, so. We'll give them a third try. The reason why we're giving them a third try is because I was the one who died at the end. It seems only fair. Sorry to everyone who's waiting for a turn. Oh my god. Holy moly. The frick? What the frick? <laughs> what a stupid way to die too he's like boink you're dead one move gone 
It's because I don't have that defense boost 7 meta. What was I thinking? I should have had defense boost the whole time. I don't think Veggie Platter's helping too much. You know what? We're still going to take it. God dang it, dude. Oh, Nelian just used a meal voucher too. You know what would have been nice? Is if I could have eaten for Moxie. If I knew he was going to do that. Oh, no. Alright, third time's a charm. This time, this team super practiced. They know what they're doing. Just gonna take him down easy. It's gonna be super easy. It's gonna be super easy. Minx loves a big beaver, huh? I think Minx does. That sounds like something Minx would like. Jeez Louise, dude. Alright, let's ready up. What the frick? Full health and still died. Extreme behemoth in a nutshell. Right? What the... How did it kill me in one hit like that? I don't understand. Like, he hit me with that move before. Did he just not hit me in the sweet spot, or what? I don't, I don't even know. Can I see no ground insect glaive run with the Assassin's Creed mantle? Oh my god. I bet Carconomist is how this ends. Ah. My reputation. <laughs> I'll never live this down, guys. Dying way too much. Let's go ahead and grab this Wiggly Litchy. Alright, guys, we got it. We're very close, guys. We were... What was that? The third comet that we were actually... Third Ecliptic Meteor we were actually going for there. Before he stomped me with one move. Oh, right, I wasn't going to do that anymore. Oh, but it didn't drop the boulder this time. Huh. Very interesting. Gosh dang it. Gotcha. <laughs> Behemoth, no! He's gonna turn around. How did I know that? I just had that feeling. Oh. Oh, the roar tremor. He's gonna drop second boulder. Behemoth has handicraft seven. So second, oh no. They dropped the boulder. I was gonna kind of wait till we are almost ready to knock him into the next stage, but that's fine. Oh, I can tell the team's doing much better this time, by the way. I can tell you guys are causing him to flinch faster. I'm tempted to bring guard 5, actually. To try and reduce the flinching. This is uh, some heavy flinching, man. God dang, dude. That was easy. Oh, 
Looking for that dragon pod. No dragon pods. Who needs it? I would be ecstatic if they made earplugs be a level 3 skill instead of 5 so that it would be easier to work into my builds. Hmm. Yeah, it, it can be hard to make that decision. Um, God dang it. Luxury versus damage. wind up on that move, man. Brrr. All right, so there's the boulder. Let's go ahead and bring him away from it, actually. If he'll get over here, he might. I might lose his aggro before he comes over here. Got him. Nice. All right, boulder safe. Comet safe. I mean. Oh, we're really far away though. Oh, snap. I tried to roll through him like an idiot. Oh, no. Everything goes to shit as soon as I lose the aggro, you know? Don't forget, guys, you gotta be by the boulder. Stay by that boulder. That was a nice shot. Oh, we lost Nillion. No, 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 no. He's near the comet. <laughs> no. There we go. That's where we want him. Somewhere like here. That's that's a safe space. Spot. Safe space. And of course, he immediately grid this is it. Did I say that right? Charybdisis it? What? Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Nillian, I cry every time. Oh, I turned around so that when I guarded the move, it would knock me toward him. But instead, it was like, actually, you don't have coverage on that side. Oh, no. I just wanted to be knocked into him. And then he knocked me into the Charybdis. And of course, there's only a Charybdis because I don't have his aggro for like two seconds. Dude, this guy's so tough. It's ridiculous. One. Two. All right. Oh, that's the Ecliptic Meteor. Hope you guys got behind the common in time. Oh, I see somebody did not. Ah, nice try, guys. Nice try. Victor Antonio. <laughs> it's cart time. <laughs> Dude, he knocked me right into that Charybdis. Spoiler, we lost. <laughs> oh my god, what a rough three runs. We're going to take a new team now, and I will fulfill any role for that team, okay? Whatever you guys want to play, I will fulfill a role. Game economist, his lucky must someone be to get the Terith Glutton heavy bow gun. What? Game economist is lucky. How lucky? That's what he's saying. How lucky must someone be to get the Terith Glutton heavy bow gun? Um, 
there's a lot of meta weapons with Kul'v Tarath, so if you just play her, you're bound to get one of them. Alright, we're taking a new team, guys. We were close. Joshua says, uh, Hey, Game Economist, you said that's better to hit the arm, but I checked Palco Party and it said that it's better to get his legs, but with a hammer icon, but for the Grey Sword, it is the opposite, so I don't know. Joshua O uh, is talking about going to Palco Party and looking up the monster his own values. And the way it works is it depends on what kind of weapon you have. So if your weapon is dealing uh, sever damage, then you should be, after you cut the tail, you should be attacking his arms or its head. Of course, if you attack the head, you have the risk of grabbing the aggro, and the arms are easier to grab anyways, in my opinion. Uh, and then if you're using a blunt weapon, like a hammer or a hunting horn, you're supposed to attack the legs. Okay, so different body parts take different damage from different damage types. That's how it's working. We have Griffith, Virgil, and Terraboy. Virgil, you've had a bunch of turns. Sorry. Ah, uh, Terraboy, I know you've already defeated this guy, I think. Griffith Griffith running the Xenomanishina. Terathboy running Diablos Tyrannus. Um, we need one more person, that means. We'll run it anyways. We need a we, we need a win. Who we get? We got Mason. He's level 77. Let's try and get Mason a win. So he's using a damage setup. Uh, he needs health boost, man. You need health boost bad. Drop that defense boost and bring health boost. Before you commit. Before you commit. Defense boost 7. Did it post? It acted like it didn't post. Uh, and I think I'm just going to continue to play the tank. However... Overwrite that real fast. Tear the crest claw. We're gonna play the tank using a lance, actually. Oh, I think this is actually already set up for fighting. Yeah, it is actually. We're gonna drop this. And bring more guard. Where's... God dang, dude. I hate the UI, dude. This UI is so... In need of an overwrite. What about a health boost? Mason, health boost. You gotta have health boost. Drop that defense boost. It doesn't do anything. What the heck? Oh, there it goes. Fayed says, you forgot to invite me, lol. Oh, we will do it after this run. Thank you, Fayed. I, I actually forgot. We will do it after this run. Lucas says, you should solo him with Meowster build. Is even better than defense se <laughs> boost 7. Don't commit defense boost 7. Wait for the Iceborne update. They're changing that skill. You know it's bad if they're buffing it. That's the truth. If if Capcom is buffing a move, you know there's something wrong with it. Don't use it right now. We'll take another look at it <clears throat> after Iceborne launches. There we go. Yeah. Defense boost is a meme. It is not that good. And we will run, I guess, Elemental Resist. I'm a big fan of Elemental Resist. Defense boost is OP. You showed us. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I committed uh, defense boost 7 last night. It did not go well, guys. <laughs> it's so strong. So overwhelmingly powerful. I'm going to bring defense 7 now. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Alright, we'll close that down. Just checking on my YouTube channel, honestly. We're waiting on Mason to ready up. Come on! 
Come on, Una. Come on, Una. You know you want to do it, Mason. You know you want to hit that ready up button. I know you want to do it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're still playing tank. I think tank is the least popular role. Every time I play against the extreme behemoth, this is the role that I end up filling because nobody wants to play it. Carlos says, good luck with that lance. <laughs> you think I need luck with the OP Terrath Claw lance? I probably do. Did you see me get smashed in that last stage? When we had that almost win? Oh man. Lucas Durador, he says, Hey, Game Economist, I tried running Defense Boost 7 on Arch Tempered Nurg, but it didn't work. Now Meowster won it in only 32 minutes. Can't deny Meowster is OP now, huh? <laughs> is that true? Did you actually, um... Did you actually defeat him using the, um... Pal uh, the, uh, I can't remember the name of the skill, actually. Oh, my God. Did that really just miss? How did that still get me? Oh, give me a break. I knew that was gonna land on me. Dude, come back! Oh my god, he just rotates over and over and over again so you can never get him. Dude, F this guy. He's so annoying, man. Look at this rotation, man! He's like, I know you're the tank. I'm gonna turn every direction except for the direction you need me to turn. Look at this, he's running all the way after Griffith. What are you doing there, Griffith? Trying to get that trying to get that aerial attack. We're all kind of split up as a team, I guess, and it's it's making it very hard to grab the aggro. Actually, that was true when I was playing with the glutton heavy bowgun too. Snap, I was hoping it would pass in time. Yeah, look, everyone's all kind of split up. Wow. Lucas Dorador says, I actually did a 32 minute run using Mouster 5 and Dai Onigashima. FYI, don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> wow, we can't grab his aggro. Now he's got Charybdis down. God, dude, this is annoying as hell. He just keeps turning toward my teammates and not me. He's, I'm like the only person he won't look at. There we go. Look at that. He finally looked at me. Oh, and it's the set of Meteor down, of course. Dude. I'm like the only person he won't look at, and I'm the person who needs to grab the aggro. Can't. His head's in the frickin' Charybdis. Oh, well, somebody just reset his aggro. Now nah, I definitely can't grab it. Let's go ahead and grab this rock. Why did they flash him? I don't understand. I'm, I'm thinking about it now. Why did you bother flashing him? Oh, this is going really horribly, guys. Wow. I, I shot the back one because I didn't know that somebody was going to shoot the, the one closer to me.
he still got me. The comet's broken. Oh, it's not. Comet's still alive, actually. This is gonna suck. Oh, just enough stamina. Let's move. Run! Whew. Jesus, man, that was a really rough start. We missed one of the boulders, and I couldn't grab his aggro because he just kept chasing my teammates, and I was like the only person he wouldn't actually look at. And I'm the person who he needs to look at. It's just how it is sometimes when you're playing tank. But we were also really spread out. I feel like over time, I've played this on, I played online multiplayer like every single day for a long time now, right? It's not just that I've played this game a lot, I've played a lot of multiplayer. And I feel like, from my experiences, that's one of the biggest mistake teams make, is they all have their own idea on like, oh, let's, like Terra Boy, for example, why did he run up the hill? Nobody here uses aerial spinning attacks, there's no aerial hammer. So he ran up the hill and he pulled in one direction and then our teammates are gonna be in the other direction. And it's like, I think situational awareness is something teammates don't think is a big deal, but it actually is, and it's why speedrunners get rid of their uh, palicos when they want to speedrun. They get rid of their palicos, because the palicos actually will often cause the behemoth to chase them. There's Mason. He's doing it as well. It's like, you didn't need to be up there, so why are you up there? We can all fight him in one spot. weirdest thing ever. <laughs> I, I like can't even reach his arms there. Now look, he becomes really easy once he's standing still. Did you notice that guys? So once we all gather up on him, he actually becomes much easier and we get the good damage out at that point. I tried to dodge it with the hop. I shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. All right, now I need the heals. I'm dead. I, I actually clicked on uh, the max potion and it didn't eat it. I, I guess I thought it did eat it. Oh my god, dude. Let's go ahead and have the max potion now. Oh, this is a rough run. I'm feeling the burn, guys. You feeling the burn? Let's crawl out of here. Game economist, some, someone flashed behemoth in the last run while you had enmity, but it didn't interrupt him, thankfully. Oh, really? Ooh, I hope they don't cause him to do Ecliptic Meteor while I'm still coming in. Because that would be bad. Oh, cool, you can actually see the meteors for him. That's neat. Oh, my God. I'm on the wrong side. an eye on that comet. We do want to be in range of it. Damn. 
What are you doing over there, Mason? I'm watching you, Mason. He's like, I'm gonna just shoot this. Try to mount him. Mason's the guy we're trying to help. Guess he didn't choose me. Wow, we must have had zero damage on this guy. What's up, guys? What is going on with the damage? I had his aggro for the full round. Oh, no. Good timing on that. Alright, hopefully he's... Yeah, ecliptic meteor time. Run! I was waiting for Mason to hit that up. Oh, Mason's dead. No, he made it! He made it! Nice job, Mason. Let's jump back in. I just noticed I don't have the ecliptic meteor jump located on my radio menu. Victor's like, kick game economist. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab some fresh items. See if I don't mess this up. I uh, sad that I died, though. I, I thought that I had eaten the max potion, so I stopped trying to eat the max potion. Have you ever done that? That's what happened there. So I was like, okay, I got the max potion, and I'm good now. And I, I had not. <laughs> I was not good. I don't actually need his aggro in this. He only drops, he only drops one meteor at a time. What we need is damage. No! I'm gonna let him grab me. Oh, he actually got me with that. I'm surprised. That's a strong move. Nearly out of stamina. Nice job. Ooh, nice. We got that damage on the tail. Tail is easy to hit when he does that. Oh, we just cut the tail! You're welcome. OP Lance. Woo, that move tends to kill people. Ah, 
Ouch. Poking him in the butt. Getting some good butt damage. Loving that butt damage. Those were the dragon pods. Fayad says, I'm very lucky that I got the Terra Hammer Sleep today. Huge upgrade for my Diablos Shatterer. Huge. That's right. So huge. Now you will have a weapon better than the Diablo Shatterer. Nice job. Oh, snap! I thought I was using the counter thrust. Nice job, everyone. Let's go ahead and grab that pod over here. I know Terravoid probably knows to pick this up. Alright, he saw it. Go ahead and have the Might Seed. Let's start beating up on this booty. Terror Boy is my boy. Frankie says, would be awesome if he had a big sack you could aim for. Oh, hell yeah. Poke him right in the sack. He had like a special flinch just for the sack. Get a nut shot. I actually think I could just put on my temper. Oh, no. Oh, <gasps> How did that miss me? That should have definitely have landed. Alright, we'll just start off by grabbing it right away. I fainted? What the frick was that all about? Oh, I'm not wearing temporal mantle. I'm wearing the rock steady mantle. I I meant to put on temporal. Oh no. I thought I was wearing the temporal mantle. I'm wearing the freaking rock steady. What have I done? Wait, that's a stair jerky. We can't have that. Oh my god. I was just attacking real aggressively because I was like, all right, we got our man a temporal mantle on. I think I even said something like, uh, yeah, I was reasoning about whether I should put on my temporal mantle. Oh, no, I'm sabotaging the run. <laughs> Don't drink and hunt. Bad things can happen. We're on our way. We're on our way, guys. Da -da -da. <laughs> I was just like, what even happened? I should have flipped through that. <laughs> Let's get down there. Oh my freaking god, dude. Good thing Terror Boy had those uh, dragon pods, right? This makes Mason look almost good. <laughs> Who'd he pick for that? Alright, don't let him break it, guys. Wow. Step number one, don't play with the game economist if you want to win. We could have titled this Game Economist Sabotages Your Extreme Behemoth Runs. Terraboy needs healing real bad. Who is the healer by the way? It's not Terraboy, right? Careful there, Terror Boy. Don't let him break the comet. Oh, 
Oh, we lost Mason too. Oh no. This is where it all goes wrong, everyone. I can't believe I, that's like the worst way to die. All right, we could still technically win this. Let's try our best, everyone. Nope. Oh, Terraboy, did you get the jump? Terraboy got the jump. Good job, Terraboy. We don't take any risks on that. Oh, the lava knocked me up. I was like, what happened? Oh my god. Should be okay. I'd like some healing before I start playing aggressively, though. We're below half. There we go. Yeah, we gotta get above half health. <laughs> I just knocked Mason out of this guy. Ouch. That took a long time to get him out. Stage 3, huh? I think I just broke his arm, though. That's the move that killed me last time. Oh, I got hit by a Charybdis? I didn't even see that Charybdis. Run! Oh no, Mason's not gonna make it. Oh, Mason, Mason, Mason! Oh, he just barely made that. Where'd he go? Oh. Jesus, man. Ah, he just turns around immediately. I'm dead. I died the exact same way. I took one poke and then he immediately slammed me. Oh, oh my body hurts. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I died the exact same way I died before. Of course, th this time I had half health. Maybe I should have just guarded the whole time until the healer gave me a heal. I don't know. I, I was just thinking uh, if I could just poke him and grab the aggro it would be it would be fine oh my god <laughs> retired i'm deleting my youtube channel give chance to mason <laughs> look at you helping fans <laughs> don't worry we'll play again we'll play again oh oh my god our healer isn't healing. I actually have to agree, Terra Boy. There was uh, more than one moment where I felt like, wow, it would be nice to have a heal. All right.
But I shouldn't say anything. I just died three times. No one was doing damage. Poke. The old man economist retires. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Same teams, not Zentris. Who was the other guy? I, uh, it was um, it was the guy doing the healing, right? Hey. It was God Terror Boy, Griff, and Mason. Chad Mason with Cart. Wait, was Griffith with us? I can't remember now. I think he was. I think he was the guy doing the healing. Was he not? Yeah, he has the Xeno Manishina. Wait, he has no. Oh, he does have Gobbler. I see. But no satiated? Oh, he does have satiated. I see. He has no damage. He has no weakness exploit. He has no... He has one level of crit boost. I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, my God. Well, bye. Gotta watch some of... Gonna watch some of your videos. See you later, Soul Roria. Rory O. Toxic against fans. Feels bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are the heels? <laughs> Hunt horn and insect glaive. <laughs> it's got the virgin symbol. Wait, you're not the guy. Stop joining, guys. We're doing same teams. Man, it's it's so unruly trying to get the uh, right party together because people just like join the moment you post. All right, we got Terra Boy back in. Terra Boy. Oh my god, dude. Game Economist was distracted by organizing Pokemon cards. <laughs> That's a chain name, letting fans carry me. You forgot again? Question mark? Oh, yes, to give you the roll. Oh, oh, relax, Fryad, we'll get you the roll. It's, it's not at the top of my priorities. The top of my priorities is getting through Extreme. Overwatch emote, I need healing. Namiel will wash away your sins. I, did you guys see that? They showed a little bit of Namiel. Griffith says I was trying to DP, or did a DPS, but Griffith, you don't have a DPS build. Let's go ahead and start. All carts are final. <laughs> Veggie Hunter, when is the game economist gonna use his stand? What? I have the Rygun revive me. Let's get started. Mason says I shall heal more. Mason, you're supposed to be a damage dealer, I thought. All right. This is it, guys. This is the easiest run right here. Now I will stop opening Pokemon cards, and I will start playing the game. Jeez Louise, man. Why doesn't this game allow you to invite people in your session to a quest? Max Potion. No turning, back. no turning back. I can't believe we lost because one of my deaths was actually me thinking I had Temporal Mantle on and I had the Rocksteady Mantle on. So I just attacked him without even trying to guard. That was ridiculous. Ah, we missed it. I'm gonna grab this aggro like a pro. Or not. Or he'll just keep turning in every other direction. God, dude, it's such cancer trying to grab aggro. see that dude we're so split up he's just like jumping between us
little low on stamina. Bring him out of this falling boulder real fast. Nice job, everyone. Mason fainted somehow. Two of them fainted? <gasps> no! They're on the wrong side of the boulder! <laughs> oh, no. That was such a good opening, too. Oh, I'm Trevor. I didn't know he would do that, actually. Oh, look at this. The Gajalakas are here. He's definitely going to drop the, uh... Did he not drop it? It's there. I didn't grab it. There we go. Dragon pots. Alright. Make sure we eat it this time. Coming boulder. Can't believe that didn't hit the head. All right, we should get away from this comet. He's gonna break it if we don't. on the right side of the boulder this time. They'll never make it. No, Mason, no. Brittany says, Game Economist, I saw your video of Zenoka coming back to Iceborne. Nice. He sure is. Terrorboy's sad. We don't even need it. Oh, he's exhausted.
Careful there, terrible boy. That hurts. I'm in trouble. Good job on the heals. Oh, I'm gonna get grabbed too. Perfect, actually, because now I don't have to try to grab his aggro. Good heals. Uh-oh. I'm still not up. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh we're fine. Wow! That's so annoying! You don't get protection from behind! <laughs> Why are we here? Just to suffer? Look, that guarded! Even though the hit comes from behind, it guarded that. So inconsistent, man. Once again, man. I gotta stop turning my back to him. He said as he turned his back to him. We haven't died yet. Good heals. Ah, oh, the shoulder tackle, man. That move always gives me... Nice job. Tails cut. Cutting the tail is always a good idea. Before stage four. Wow, I can't believe that just doesn't hit him. close to this. I don't want him to re-aggro me. Oh, he moved pretty fast there. He's like... He's like, I want this guy. Nice interrupt. Crystal Burst to interrupt? I didn't think Crystal Burst interrupted. Dude, that's a big old lunch. Wow, I, I was trying to use the counter guard and it didn't use it. We're taking a while, we're taking a while, it feels like. Oh, why did it guard that? That's so ridiculous, man. Alright, there's the uh, dragon, whatever you call it. Wow, that shows you how important it is to be able to guard that move. Or guard that roar. I hold the guard button up, but sometimes the guard hits you from like behind because you're under his chin. It's so ridiculous. All right, nice job, everyone. Let's go ahead and whetstone. Do, 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 do. How are we doing on lives? Do we have one life left? Ooh, we got one life left. Good luck, everyone. I hope I'm not the one to die. Where'd he drop those dragon pods? He must have dropped them. Here they are. Point them out to Terror Boy. Good luck. See, I think I've been focusing so much on having a good time with you guys in the comment section. I haven't been playing that well. 
I should probably focus on playing well, because he is actually a difficult fight. It's not like an easy fight. It's the most difficult thing you're going to do in this game. Wow! So much for this. He's got to start using another Charybdis. I didn't know he was throwing that on me. Alright, so this time... Temporal Mantle. Putting on Temporal Mantle. That sort of mistake, accidentally putting on the wrong mantle and not noticing you've got it on, that's like what you do when you're distracted, you know what I mean? That's not something you do when you're actually paying attention. Good job on that. He's got to set down the meteor. in the butt. Run! That was too late of a jump, honestly. Still got Temporal on. Have his aggro anymore, so he's gonna start putting out Charybdis again. This is gonna get tricky when he does that. I didn't even see where the boulder went. The comet. Oh, I see where it's at now. Okay. We're okay. Everyone gonna make it? Run, Mason! What was that interrupt? <gasps> what? That was a complete counter guard. You even saw me going into the animation. It makes no sense. Good heals. Oh my god, I was so upset when that happened. The guard on this weapon is so, like, I don't know, inconsistent sometimes. Basically, what had to happen for that to occur is it had to believe that his move struck behind me when it definitely didn't. I was, like, fully facing him. So ridiculous, man. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that actually hit me too. Dude, he's moving so fast. Ah, oh, he's casting Charybdis on me. KO'd, but I, I'm in a safe position. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, ooh. and I'm dead. Wow! I I got hit by the big move, and I'm laying in the lava. There's just no way to save me. I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Uh, it's too bad we lost the two lives in stage one. Oh, because we would pretty much have won this otherwise. I think we would have. Oh my god, this is like the cursed... I should just rename this the cursed stream. Charybdis in my Monster Hunter live stream? <laughs> uh, I think I want to stop playing tank. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it was really bad. Game Economist is the curse. Kick game economist, one of the most funniest deaths. Oh my god, dude. Alright, we should do another we should do another run for Mason. I think he deserves it. Last run though, Mason. Cause at that time it wasn't just me dying the whole time. Uh we had feline insurance and we still lost and it's cause other lives were lost. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> oh man. I could just take this one video and probably make a fail compilation out of it. So we got Griffith, we got Michael, sorry, you're not in the group. We got Mason. Last run, though, and then we're going to move on to another team. Holy heck, dude. That was just some really unfortunate. Through two lives lost isn't their fault. Is Behemoth? <laughs> Game kind of done. Behemoth. Oh, whoa, what's this? I blame the Pokemon. Can I join the next run again? Uh, Fayed, I gave you three runs. We're going to we're gonna go with another group on the next run, okay, man? We did three runs together already. I think that's only fair. Broth, you're not the right guy. Why do people keep joining when they know it's not their turn? One word, clusters. TGE cart compilation when? I, I could easily make a cart compilation. It would take me, like, a few hours of editing. Sometimes you just can't win. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. How can the luck be that? Like, not only did he use a one-shotting move, but I guess... Uh, does that move normally one-shot on a melee weapon, by the way? Or was it because my health wasn't topped off? It doesn't really matter. It, whatever the case, he, he hits me with that big move, and then Moxie saves me, but I'm knocked into the lava. So the lava's like, you're not saved. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take... I guess we'll take a shot at Moxie. No Moxie. Jeez Louise. Just as Terraboy uses a meal voucher. That's okay. Who even needs the meal voucher? It's not like Moxie's gonna save me, apparently. <laughs> gonna be one of those days. Let's go ahead and get started. Jeez Louise, dude. We're playing so aggressive that whole match, too. Let's go ahead and max potion. I have 999 vouchers. What? Give me some of those vouchers. I actually wonder if it's damage that grabs the aggro or just number of hits. I think it's number of hits related. 
Ah, I knew that would hit me. I was wondering how far you have to be from the comet for it to not actually hit you. Could drop that boulder, probably. Nice job. Oh, nice job. God dang, dude. I tried to hop the roar. Look how hard it is to hit his freaking face, dude. It's because he's like on a slight hill. It's so ridiculous. It's why the Glutton Heavy Bow Gun is just a better tank weapon. It's got a range advantage. Comets is gone. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh. Oh, it's got to be the charge blade. All right, start running, guys. Good job, God Terror Boy. I don't think he died. Yeah, he jumped. I think that's a sigh of relief. You gotta aim it so well to hit him in the head with the forward thrust there, the finishing thrust. Alright, now we have his aggro again probably. Oh, I thought we would roll that. I guess not. God, that move is so hard to deal with because it comes out so fast.
How did that hit me? Oh, I was out of stamina. That's how. All right. The comet's safe. God, just hit him in the face, dude. This Lance, man. What is this Lance doing? guys Griffith is oh no we're gonna lose Mason for sure tear boy has a chance of losing too oh Mason made it wait how did Mason make that he was so far away did you guys see how far away he was no way holy frick here goes everyone into stage three we make it to stage four uh, pretty consistently Oh my god. Well, he's not going to get his health back, at least. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I just wanna cut his tail, honestly. I think that was aimed at me, I'm not sure. I was fully guarding and everything. Man, the guard with the lance is so inconsistent, I'm learning. Just because you can get hit by from behind, basically. The point of having a big ass shield that slows you down if it can't hit you, if it can't protect you from behind, except for when you're power guarding. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Good heals. We went into a counter guard for the wrong move. But that's okay, he's gonna give us his aggro. There we go. See, you wiggle your joystick and then you stand up when he wars. Which is much safer. That's so stupid, I counter guarded and it still hit me. It actually correctly counterguarded, and then it's like, by the way, though, he still hits you with this move, dude. I was so sure he was actually going to smack me with that, but he did not. I 
I, I counter guarded. It just didn't come out fast enough, I guess. Cool drink effects have worn off. I don't know if that's the slinger bombs or the dragon pod. Oh, he actually grabbed me again. Am I gonna be teleported into his hand? I am gonna be teleported into his hand. Was he even aiming for me? It looked like he wasn't aiming for me. I was down by his ding dong, honestly. This is so much harder than the Glutton, by the way, guys, if you didn't know this. So the Glutton deals more damage, has better range, and you, you don't even have to try as hard. Nice job, everyone. That must have been the dragon pot over here, then. How many lives we got left? I think we're going in with more lives this time. That's a good feeling. I think we have uh, three lives, actually. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to win it this time. You know, going in going in there with one life is just so dangerous anyways. The, the chances of somebody dying is already pretty high. Do we have the beta at midnight? That is the question. I do not actually know. Wow, he still hit me with that. Ridiculous, man. Practice my uh, side hops against that move, probably. Exhausted. He's bringing in the comet. We both missed. Oh, Terraboy got it. That's so interesting because Terraboy's jump was only different from mine by like a s split second. Oh, why did I try to hop it? I should have just counter guarded it. I got tremored? Oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, 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 good heals, good heals. Very, very good. 
that's a if we win this that's pretty much a deserved win right there because that heal was very much needed you want to heal just like that when you're fighting extreme behemoth attack his arms, but I'm, I feel like he's going to go into a cryptic meteor in a moment here. <laughs> I just cause a flinch on the leg with 20 damage. There we go. There, there it is, too. Wow, so bad. Why even bother doing the jump, honestly? <laughs> Could you imagine losing that way? No, oh, come on, man. I meant to push B, not A. We still got it. He still got to go. What? Oh, that's such bullcrap, man. I hit the guard, the counter guard, and because I was like under his chin, it's like, no, actually, this was bad. You've got to be kidding me, man. It's got to be the lava. I think the lava knocked me up or something. I think the lava knocked me up in the air or. Well, no, because I would have had an iframe if it did. What even happened there? I couldn't see. The lava blocked it. Good luck, guys. Oh my god, dude. What the frick was that? First he gets to roar me when I'm counter guarding. Wait, that's not what I wanted. He gets to roar me while I'm counter guarding. And then I'm just trying to recover from that. I don't understand how he got that move off, though. I want Oh, I wonder if it hit behind me like that other time, too. Remember, I, I mentioned earlier that that move where he stamps his paw down like that before he does the shoulder slam. It actually can hit behind you with the shield if you're not power guarding, and I would have just been counter guarding. Dude. Alright, I'm back in. Immediately tremored. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is clown world level of uh, gameplay right now. All right, let's let's stop though. Let's let's get serious because we've almost won this. We did well not using any lives in the other stages. Wow, I just can't not be hit by that move. That's the move that gets me. Immediately KO'd too. Look at this shit. I mean, this freaks. Nice heals. Good job. Good job. We're so close, guys. Oh, we really don't want that move to hit the actual comet. Ah, oh, I bet the fire did interrupt me. Look at that crap. Oh, come on, guys. We gotta pull him further away from the comet. He's gonna break that comet if we don't pull him away. Oh, no, come on, guys. We gotta pull him away from that comet. Nice job, Mason. I'm guessing Mason has his... Oh, it's over. We're good. Are we good? Good luck, guys. Good luck. Oh, 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 oh. We did it! Yes! Good job, everyone. Whew. That was very rough.
What one part of the AT Teostra set should I make? The Teostra set? Well, if you've only got one, hmm. Maybe, I wanna say the helmet. I would say the helmet for your bow builds. Yeah, go for the helmet. Nice job, everyone. God, I was worried he was gonna break that comet right at the end. We're gonna go to the gathering hub so I can invite Fayed before he asks me again. He's gonna be like, will you invite me to Uwu Clan? <laughs> can you show build, please? Yes. Dude, it was a long fight. We must have really been struggling with damage. Well, I don't know. 20 minutes seems fair enough, I suppose. If you had died, it would have been upgraded from decommissioned economist to deceased economist. <laughs> oh my god. All carries are final. Victor Antonio says, carried by all by the all-powerful Mason. Oh my god, guys. We has, I, I definitely had a bad run earlier this. I mean, we've had like a few unlucky situations, but like that one where I triple carded was actually pretty bad. That was bad. I don't even remember everything that happened in that run. Probably if I rewatched the stream, I would see it. All right. <laughs> Fayad's going to be like, will you invite me? Hey. Okay, I'm only in one squad. So. I should just be able to invite him, right? Oh. Well, what the heck? Do you have to be in the gathering hub to do the invite? Alright, let's get another group going. Wait a sec. Oh, why did I just do this? It's just because I saw them available. Alright. <laughs> and let's get another one going. I will play any role. I am getting kind of tired of playing the tank role, though. It's a dangerous role, man. Junior says, can I play with you? It won't let you access those screens with the quest while a quest is loading. What? Oh, oh, I see. So it was just because I was already in a quest. Is that why? Can you play with my heart like my ex? <laughs> Your ex. So we have Marquez. Tear at the sword. Fire as a damage build. Froth with Tear at the Strong Arm Horn, that's a damage build, and Solrak. Alright, we have three damage builds. Also, do we have somebody, we're supposed to take somebody with a low rank. 151, 421. Alright, a spot just opened. I didn't kick him. He, he must have backed out. Can we see a Hunting Horn Assassin's Creed Mantle Ledge Hop build? <laughs> Light bowgun support. I could play light bowgun support. That means somebody else on the team would need to be able to play tank. We did heavy bowgun at the beginning of the stream. Oh, he didn't get to see the stream. Uh, the the uh, build. Here's the build. You'll notice it's only weakness exploit 2 because you only need weakness exploit 2. It's guard 4 for 30% stamina. You notice there were a lot of moments where we were struggling with the stamina. And we got 30% stamina depletion with guard 4. So I feel like that part was actually kind of important. Mind's Eye actually helps a lot. That's why we don't have crit boost 3. It's because we gave it up for Mind's Eye Ballistics. And you can see my affinity here is 65%. With 35% from Weakness Exploit, that comes up to 100%. We also have the White Sharpness. Alright, we got Burt. What's Burt running? Grunge Storm. 
Um, we gotta have a tank or a healer. Oh, somebody is... Alright, we've got a... We've got a healer. Let's do a tank build then. I was running this last night, and it was surprisingly not bad. Hold on, I'm looking. Thinking about what to build here. Give me a second. Guess I'll build one level of protection. Oh wait, we already have... What am I doing with my life? We already have protection. Duh. Hmm. We have one open slot. I guess we'll just finish off with the iron wall. We'll see what guard 5 feels like. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Wait, 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 wait. We don't have enough for Bombardier yet. That's Sharpshooter. Bombardier. So we have a half chance for Bombardier. Ah, we picked it up. Nice. Nothing really says, knock Behemoth out with Assassin's Creed Mantle just once. Uh, maybe. Alright, let's take one more look at these builds. Fair. That's fine. And Solrak playing healer. All right, good luck, everyone. Make game economist card again. <laughs> Jose says fortify. I thought about fortify. Yeah, especially after all the deaths I've had today, in particular. The only problem is, I don't think the attack bonus from fortify will really matter for shelling. What do we have? Fireproof mantle. Ooh, I shouldn't have fireproof mantle. It's not actually going to be that useful. We'll put it on right now, I suppose. Beginning of stage one. It won't be too bad. Three longsword? Auto cart. <laughs> what? Why do you say that? I was just thinking somebody could drop that on him. Nice job, nice job. Oh, tremored, of course. Look at that, we actually grabbed his aggro pretty easily. That's not bad. Wow, I'm liking guard five too. That's the other thing I'm noticing. No knockback at all, huh? Huh, I should have considered guard 5 for the lance too then, because the knockback is part of the difficulty of being able to grab the aggro. Look at that, you just stay in exactly the same spot. 
Oh no, you get knocked back for that move. I noticed with the long shelling, you're not getting a chance to actually charge your shells. But because of the longer range, you're actually able to reach his head really easily. Ah, I keep reflecting off of the horns too because of the blue sharpness on this weapon. Oh, nice job, everyone. First first try, basically. You got him down before the aggro was gone. Very smooth. Jennifer Akiz says, Are you going to be playing for players on their accounts? No, I will not be doing that. Uh, I've decided not to do that anymore. Let's go ahead and take this off. Can I repeat the Lushing quest with Geralt? Need two more bones for the armor set. Yes, of course, you can repeat it. Alright, so I probably should have taken Mind's Eye, I'm thinking. Oh, that knocks you back too then, huh? God dang, dude. Oh my god. This is the part where it sucks using gun lands. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even have to guard that. I've got earplugs. Oh, I was still hit by that too, unfortunately. Oh, we lost two people. That sucks. I'm in trouble. This is gonna kill me, actually. Oh, I'm still alive. Had these guys. We got the Gajalakas. Let's bring him over to the Gajalakas. Oh, we can't bring him over to the Gajalakas anymore because we don't have his aggro. Oh, I was not even paying attention. Nice job to be healing because that uh, fire blight would have killed me otherwise. They don't even know it's over here. He'll come over to me eventually. Oh, he's exhausted, though. Mrs. Obama, get down, Diogo. Can we even use that comet, or is it, like, too blocked in?
there's definitely a problem with being able to grab the aggro as gun lance. I mean, it's cool when you can land, like, the worm stake on him. That's, I mean, it's really cool when you can land it on him. But, I mean, other than that, you just feel like your ability to grab his enmity is really struggled, er, uh, you know, it's really challenged by your ability to move. There's probably, like, an optimal gun lance build for grabbing it that I don't know about. I'm trying out the long shelling just because I've tried wide shelling so many times. There was no point in me trying that even. So, the comet is completely covered. What I recommend is we bring him all the way over here and we fight him on the edge of the map. And then when he starts using Ecliptic Meteor, we run down here. I want to learn to dodge that meteor. It's so hard. That's going to be a problem. So, so much for that. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side, too. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh... Clever girl. <laughs> Jail is just a room to Bill Cosby. What? Oh, here comes the ecliptic meteor. You think they're going to make it? I see them running. They're not going to make it. <laughs> so Marquez, Bert, and Solrak. Let's have another run, guys. Welp! Shit! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is a big F. <laughs> I'm gonna use the N word. <laughs> Anthony Tran says Game Economist, are you planning on keeping a regular stream schedule during the beta release? My stream schedule will be. Oh, that's a great question, Anthony. Tran. Well, my normal stream time is at 1 p.m. every day, but I could see myself wanting to stream earlier than that even. Um, gosh, it's usually done just by how soon I'm available. I want to say 1 p.m. I'm going to stick to the 1 p.m. time, uh, and if you miss part of the stream, you can always re-watch it later. It's hard. It's hard to get a perfect stream time out because when I'm not streaming, I'm actually also working on videos. So I'm doing both. And what happens is sometimes you're like work, you're, you're close to finishing a video and you're like, oh, I should finish the video first and then I'll do the live stream. But the live stream is going to come 25 minutes later. Or maybe like you have no video being worked on at all. And you're just like, I'm just going to go straight into a live stream. So it just kind of happens. You know what I mean? Just something happens. Deraz says no Iceborne beta stream today. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you asking if there's going to be no Iceborne beta stream? Okay, we have Marquez. Toxic Sun, you weren't with us. I wonder if you could... Uh, I wonder how well you could tank with the Dark Devourer, actually. Uh, probably not that good. Probably not that good. Anthony Tran. And Solrak. Doing wide range. We will eat four. We gotta go for that feline insurance. We got it. Moxie and insurance. Max my dual blade build. Oh my god, dude. We're actually at 2 hours and 40 minutes for this live stream. It's, it's been a long stream. Wow. 
when does the beta start? Let's take a look at Twitter's, uh, Capcom's Twitter. Cap Capcom usually says on Twitter when it starts. Jose says, with the sticky ammo, the reload might be a problem. That's a fair... Yeah, that's a good point to make, actually. Is there any reason to use Diablo Shatterer over Terrath Sleep? Hmm. No hmm. I mean, if you're speedrunning, probably. I'm going to go ahead and trade out to the Rocksteady Mantle real fast. Just to have this fireproof. That way I can ignore everything. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot to add Mind's Eye. That's what I was going to do. I'm just going to add Mind's Eye decoration. Nice job on that. Wow, we missed that one too. Jesus, dude. And he only ever wants to look at other people. Isn't that the most annoying part? Nice job dropping that other boulder, man. I barely see him. Any of the uh, comets accessible? Yes, this one is very good. Oh, I'm Trevor. God, dude, I hate Trevor. Nice job, everyone. Nice and fast. Let's go ahead and sharpen. 
I said, and I stand by my point, Gunlance is like taking farts in the monster's face. What? Stage one, easy. Oh, he did pick me. I was wondering if he would. Why would you flash him? Save the flash for stage four. Stage two is easy. Wow, we only got two charged shots off. He still didn't land in it, dude. I don't want to poke! Oh my god, dude. Oh, got him! Wait, I didn't need to guard that. that area then. Alright, so charge shelling is a risk because he's going to attack faster than the shelling goes off. Oh snap, I didn't realize we were so close to the god. Oh my god, did the comet just break? No, it's still it's still there. Oh snap. We gotta pull him away from this. Comet shattered. Oh my gosh, this is all my fault, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's bring him to the edge of the room. We might be able to beat him over here. He's not gonna put any Charybdis down. So if we just go real fast right here, we can still win. Don't forget, guys, after after he um, goes into Ecliptic Meteor, we're going to run down into the next stage, okay? Get on the edge, guys. Get on the edge. Oh, these guys don't know the trick. Guys, get over here. They don't know the trick. Get over here, guys. Once he goes into Ecliptic Meteor, we gotta run into the next area, okay, guys? Wow. Tremors. Dude. Come on, guys, get some damage out. Wow, 
Wow. We must be dealing no damage, guys. There it is. All right. Marquez is not going to make... Oh, will we even make it around this? We will, actually. Oh, we did it. And Marquez got the jump. <laughs> nice job, everyone. That's how you get around the broken comet. Very good, everyone. Very, very good. So that strategy actually really worked. It's so crazy. Like, if you can do it with a group of people who aren't using microphones. Will you post news at 100k? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whew. I can't believe that worked. Insect life and longsword. Orion goes, the fuck? He doesn't know he doesn't know what just happened. With the extreme behemoth, you can run into the next stage and not be affected. Not be affected by Nice. Not be affected by the ecliptic meteor. Oh, oh, it hurts my heart. Would have been a perfect time to grab aggro too, because I have the uh, temporal mantle on. Meteor like a Chad. <laughs> Cheat economist. You guys are funny. <laughs> That's cheating. Them. Oh, it wasn't reloaded. Oh, one of those rare times you don't have worm steak reloaded. Got him. I'm gonna run right into Soul Wreck so he hits Soul Wreck. What are you doing, even, Bert? Bert's not even playing. Like, Bert's just running in a circle. Bert, you gotta get in there, man. I just realized he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't in there fighting. And then Soul Wreck's not in there either. It's just me and like one other guy dealing damage.
this is the uh, damage check, guys. We gotta get lots of damage here. If we don't get lots of damage in stage three, we lose. Oh, I'm tremoring. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Help! Well, I'm above the Moxie threshold. Bert, no! Bert's so dead. That's what I thought. That's what I said, bunny bread. That's too bad. Not enough damage, guys. Bert, you can't be running around in a circle. And Solrak, you uh, you are the healer, but that doesn't mean that you... This is something I always say. The healer actually does also have to do damage. <sighs> that is a three-hour stream. I think we should wrap up there. I know it sucks. <laughs> Overpriced Diego, what? What a stream. We got a single win. I had a triple card at some point. Holy snaps. Holy fricks. Holy shamoles. Man. Those are some rough runs, man. Longsword users can't foresight slash their father back to home. <laughs> it's funny, actually. How can I join a hunt with you on Xbox? Says Mon Licky Mon Licky Licky. Um, you would join by joining the session, and here's the session ID. However, wow, look at all these guys. There's a lot of lower level players in here. We were trying to help them. Um, you can still join the session, actually. If these guys are going to keep playing, you might be able to find a decent group here. So maybe write that session ID down. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up and take a break from my brain because oh man i probably need it <laughs> maybe we'll get another behemoth stream out i don't think we will though it's almost five o'clock my wife's gonna step in the door any moment and then she's gonna be like what are we eating for dinner and that's probably what i'm gonna do with my afternoon okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up let's do the wave i didn't do the wave last time and people were upset all right i'm gonna thank you all for watching oh asaya says i wonder if i donate 100 if you'll help me cluster cheese it <laughs> Um, the answer to, to that question is probably yes, but I'm not telling you to donate $100. It's, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just, like, be paying me to, to run you through. Make a donation if you feel like supporting my channel, but I'm gonna hop off and do something else with my time, because I need a break, actually. Alright, so, I wanna thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.